Education is the key to fixing injustices in both developed and undeveloped worlds because the empowerment of education can guide others to take action. It should be our obligation to educate both ourselves and others to fix the issues happening around the globe. After reading The Kite Runner, our English class was inspired to create something that educates, inspires, and analyzes both the novel and displays the real-world issues happening at this very moment. Sounds like a big task, doesn't it? In order to put our ideas into action, we began splitting into four different groups, documentary, art, organization, and publicity. With such a big group, we were able to show our progress in a few different ways, the mural itself, a website highlighting individual video blogs, and this documentary. Before we begin, we asked individuals initial questions about their thoughts on this type of final project and their hopes for it. Well, I wanted to combine some of the projects that I normally would do in class into something that would be more meaningful for you all, and something that you would actually remember maybe beyond this year's school year. Uh, also something that you could collaborate on and bring the whole class together to work on the same project together. Something that might be more authentic that an audience outside of just me or just our small classroom could see. And bring all of your skills together. So these documentarians, we've got artists working, we've got just different groups that have different strengths. And kind of use all those strengths to create this project. I thought it would be a big, big task to undertake, honestly, with about 30 people. And since we decided to double the square feet that we're going to do, since we're making a square, it's going to be a big undertaking, basically. But I was really excited to do this project because I thought it was a good chance to kind of use everyone's like input on the kite runner and just in the world in general about Afghanistan and like our involvement in it, and use it as a way of representing our theme and like our view upon the book. Uh, what I want, I just want something that will basically sum up like how we feel and what we, uh, in our main message, in one coherent picture, basically. While reading the Kite Runner in class, we individually created themes and ethical claims based on our motif tracking and personal reflections. We held in-class discussions and brought in multiple outside resources in order to connect the book to current happenings in Afghanistan. So we began to collaboratively create a class theme claim and call to action to base our mural off of and everything started to come together slowly. So um, I've been working with the art crew so so far we've desi designed out the mural, we gridded it out, then we transferred it onto a 8 by 8 sheet of paper which was a big talk to do and we had to draw everything out up to proportion and to scale. Then we had to cut everything out, assign people their squares and give them off to them. So basically that's basically what I've been doing. <laughs> And can you explain the concept of our mural a little bit? Yeah, sure. So our mural is a pomegranate tree, which was like a central motif in the Kite Runner. And we're having one side of it be Cabal before it was destroyed and bombed and the whole undertaking with the Taliban. And then afterwards, it's after, so it's all rubble and there's poppies to signify the opium trade. The mural mirrors our process of combining ideas and perspectives together. Everyone has to offer their own individual artistic contributions, but it all comes together into one picture. I'm with publicity. And what do you do for the publicity crew? Um, right now, Karen and I are in charge of gathering interviews and information about what's happening and like dates and times and everything that's going on to help our friend write an article so it's not cannibalism. Uh, on why are you uh, doing this? Um, I'm doing this because it's important to raise awareness about what we're doing because we need a purpose for what we're doing for it to count as our final. Uh, so as uh, I'm in the organization and collaboration group, so for the mural entirely, we've been planning the unveiling, we've been making sure that all the groups are doing, uh, getting along and uh, getting their stuff done, and then individually I've currently been working on my individual part for the motif, and I think it's going really well. Uh, we're painting our, our squares for our mural, and we're just going by this color scheme we have and incorporating our whatever contribution we had. Uh, right now we're just painting the rough draft for our mural, but we're slowly incorporating things about world issues and affairs that we could try and help make others, like not just at the school, but other people in the community to uh, help realize and not make them oblivious to these issues. I'm working on my individual mural piece, and it's like a cloud that's gonna be like gray, and then with the sky around it, but it's gonna be pretty dark. And I have the quote for you a thousand times over on it to signify Amir and Hassan's relationship, but also like America and Afghanistan kind of tied into that, because we're like, oh, Afghanistan, we're gonna help you, but we're not really helping them. So it's kind of like this whole revolving circle of help and stuff, and yeah.
With our own individual pieces completed, we then start assembling the mural. I think this is a project that I had some, I had a lot of ideas for, but I don't, I didn't have all the ideas. I've never tried this before. To have a class collaborate on a single project of this magnitude is, it's different than what I've done in the past. And so it's developing as we go. We change our due dates, we change what we need from each other, and that, that's fine with me. In our projects, we can handle that. We're working solve the problems, we come into class and say, what do we need to figure out today? And we figure it out. In the end, our mural, an 8x8 foot square with 64 unique pieces making up the whole picture, was unveiled on the last day of school. Celebrating the traditional Afghani food, the class admired their work and reflected on the project. We gained experiences we would have never gotten with a typical final essay, from composing original music to attaching phones on walls for time lapses, showing the best material to work on, wood versus paper. We also gained what the whole project was focused on, education. We learned about the injustices other people and countries face, but not through a test or a lecture. We gained empathy by reading stories, listening to music, looking at pictures, and walking a mile in another's shoes. We would like to thank Mr. Hanauer for this unique experience and allowing us to open our eyes to the world around us. I'm trying to put my iPod up there to record a time lapse. Yeah, that's my rough point. Are you just taking pictures? <laughs> We're setting up for interviews, but yeah. Okay. There's definitely going to be a blue <laughs> We have so many, so much. How has the process?